Hi, before moving on to the next more advanced tutorial, I wanted to make a short guide on how to prepare your project for working with Gato VMF. In this video, I will show you two different development pipelines you can use, and of course you can come up with your own that fits your workflow. But first, let's install Hammer. In Steam, download Source SDK based 2013 single player, and make sure to set its beta branch to upcoming. Download Hammer++ and place its files into the SDK's bin folder. That's it. Let's move on to the first pipeline. This approach is for when you're working with assets you've created yourself, without relying on any specific source engine game. Create a new Godot project and download the Godot VMF plugin. Download the starter files Hammer needs to display everything correctly and put them directly into your project folder. Open Hammer and go to Tools Options. Select Edit and add a new project and select it from the list. In Game Data Files, add base.fgd from the bin folder. This contains basic entities you'll need in the next tutorial. Set the paths as on the video. In Build Programs, set the game executable to your Godot engine executable. We'll get back to this field later. We're done here, and I'll create a simple map just to check that everything works as expected. Let's return to the game executable we set in the Build Programs tab. This field allows us to launch our maps directly from Hammer without running the project itself. This is especially useful when you're working with a level designer who doesn't need to interact with the engine directly. The only thing they'll need to do is just open the project once to cache all resources, close it, and then work exclusively in Hammer. Open the plugin wiki and navigate to the launch maps from Hammer page. Copy the code provided there. Create a folder named Scenes and add a scene called Map. Attach a script to this scene and paste the code you copied earlier. Add a camera and a sound to the scene so you can view the map when it's launched from Hammer. Switch back to Hammer and open the Run Map window by pressing F9. Click New, give your configuration a name, and add a new comment. Make sure to enable its checkbox. In the comment field, enter $game underscore exe. In the Parameters field, paste the parameters from the wiki page, then click Run. From now on, you'll be able to launch maps you've created directly from Hammer. Let's move on to the next pipeline, porting. This pipeline I would use to port something from the existing game on Source Engine. As an example, I'll try to import a map from Half-Life 2. With this pipeline, you won't be able to launch maps from Hammer. Before we import a map, we'll need to unpack resources from the game's VPK, since the plugin can't work with them. You can do it with a tool called GCFscape. Open the tool and unpack all models and materials from VPKs. Decompile the map you want to port.
In the project, you will find the vmfconfig.json. Change it as on the video. In the materials section, you will need to set import mode to 1. It means that the importer will copy all materials and textures from the game you set in the game info path. In the model section, set import field to true. I prepared a decompiled map from Half-Life 2 to import. The importer will read VMF and try to import all relevant materials, textures and models. After that, it will import the map itself. And that's it. Now you know two ways to set up your workflow with Godot VMF. If you have developed your own method, feel free to share it in our Discord server. Leave a like if this tutorial was helpful, check the documentation for more advanced features, and I will see you in the next tutorial.